Again, Stoics sect 3 from Hellenism, but 5 of the series. And the Stoic notion of deity is as follows. They claim that God is mine, or the mind of all visible fault. I mean, I mean of heaven, earth, and the rest like a soul in a body. But they also divide the one Godhead into many individual beings, sun, moon, and stars, soul, egg, and the others. And they teach the reincarnations of souls and their transmigrations from body to body. With souls which remove with 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 souls with souls being removed from bodies and returning others in turn and being born once more. Along with much deceit of tears, they kept it all with this impity. And they think, and they think that notion and they think that the soul is a part of God and immortal. Zeno, the founder of the store. And there is much, and there is much confused chatter about him. Some have said that he was the son of one Clentus of Tyre, but others claim that he was Scythian, a Cypriot islander, and that he lived at Rome for a while, for a while, but later advocated his doctrine at Athens. So, and the so-called Stoa. Some, however, say that there are two Zenos, Zeno of Elis, and the one I have been speaking of, both taught the same doctrine anyhow, even though there might be two in of them. He too, then, like the other sects, like the other sects, claims the matter, claims that matter is contemporaneous with God, and that there is a fit and fortun which by all things and the are directed and influenced. Now then, I am going to administer a remedy for Zeno's conditions condition so far as this this brief discussion of mine can do it, for rather than overloading the contents of the treatise, I need only give the main points. However, Skimming the surface so as not to digress, I shall say to Zeno, Where did you get the teaching of your doctrine, Mister? Or which Holy Spirit has spoken to you from heaven about him, your impostor? For, your, for you are obliged to say that, you, that two things, matter and God, are contemporary with each other. Your assertion will fit with written proof untenable. For you admit that someone wh whom you also call Almighty, whom you also call Almighty, is the Creator, and you divide him into a plurality of gods. But what can he be the Creator of, if matter in his contemporary, a matter which did not originate from any cause, and is no subject to one, must be a, must be its own master to itself. And if the Creator took his material from it and acquired it as a loan, this accused his weakness and must be a contribution which, due to his bankruptcy, has been made to a person who has not provided for subsistence of his handiwork for his own resources but from someone else. And there is a good deal and there is a good deal wrong with your superior notion of the transmigration of souls, you would be said with your promise of knowledge to humanity. For the soul of it, for the soul is part of God and immortal, and yet you associate rich bodies with its fashioning, not just human bodies, I suppose, but bodies of all rich peace and things that crawl and disgusting box. You associate them you associate them with the fashioning of the soul which you say it has from God. And what could be worse? You bring it you bring in fact besides as to it as to it is the cause of what happens to human and other beings. But your mythology is going to be refuted by one such sin argument. If wisdom, understanding, rationality and irrationality 
and everything else is brought by, about by faith, then forget about loss. Faith is in control the other terrors and the others, rather than the man who acts under necessity, the stars which have imposed the necessity should be should pay the penalty. Indeed, I shall say some more about this in another different way. No more dear tribes, no more sophists, rhetoricians and grammarians, no more doctors and the other professions and the countless manual traders. If it is fed that equips the educated and intelligent, no one should learn from a teacher. Let the trade spinning fast with the knowledge by nature, your impostor with its boastful oratory says.